Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short tutorial we're going to be covering Audacity and the basics of how to use it. So, what is Audacity? Audacity is an audio editing program which you can use to edit audio that's already been recorded or to record audio inside the program to modify it in whatever ways you'd like to by generating different effects or, or maybe uh, removing some of the background noise, things of that nature. So. In many ways, you could compare Audacity directly to a video editor, except without the video. It's for audio. So I'm going to go ahead here and just record a little bit of audio for us to go ahead and work with. You do this by selecting the microphone from this menu. Uh, you can choose any microphone you have plugged in. And I then go ahead and hit the record button. So let's go ahead and do that here. You can see that as I'm talking, uh, it's basically picking up the sound waves and converting that into digital data. So now if I play it back we should hear exactly what uh, I was hearing a second ago. So let's go ahead and do that here. You can see that as I'm talking uh, it's basically picking up the sound waves and converting that into digital data. So not too bad. Uh, if you were listening very closely you may have noticed that there was a little bit of background noise um, from the microphone and also a clicking sound at the end. So one of the things that you would want to do if you're creating video or really if you're recording any kind of audio for any reason is if you can't remove the uh, basically the extra background noise before it hits the microphone alone by um, basically having a better physical environment you would want to use Audacity to remove some of that uh, nasty background noise so that the final product sounds a little crisper. So let's see, right here we have a section where it's just nothing but a little bit of background noise. I'll go ahead and play it back for us. Actually, that may not have been the best uh, example because you can hear me breathing and that's not exactly background noise, but here at the end we'll definitely see it. So all it is is uh, some really low quiet static noise. Uh, but what I'm going to do to modify this is go up to the effects menu and use the noise reduction tool uh, to basically select this profile as something we want to remove all across this clip of audio um, by getting the noise profile. Then to select the whole clip, filter some of this background noise out, hit OK, and uh, that should give us a higher quality finished product. So uh, get noise profile, and now that we've gotten that, I'm going to select the whole uh, clip by hitting Control A, go back up to Effect, Noise Reduction, and then for step two, I'm going to leave it at its defaults. So you can increase the amount of noise reduction, but in most cases, 12 is plenty, and uh, sensitivity, not going to worry about that too much. So go ahead and hit OK, and you'll notice that the uh, audio levels on this track have actually changed. Notably, at the end, it's almost impossible to hear any of the background noise because it's been uh, reduced dramatically. So let's go ahead and play the whole thing back again. So let's go ahead and do that here. You can see that as I'm talking, uh, it's basically picking up the sound waves and converting that into digital data. So if you're like me and you're creating YouTube videos, that's definitely one of the most useful functions in Audacity. Uh, but you can also create other effects. So for instance, um, Let's go ahead and add reverb to the audio clip. So that's basically where it gives you the illusion that you're in some really large room that echoes a lot. So add reverb. So as you can see, there's a lot of different parameters to edit for this effect, but I'm going to go ahead and leave them at the default here. We don't want to get too much into the specifics. So we've added a reverb to this clip. Let's go ahead and play it now. So let's go ahead and do that here. You can see that as I'm talking, uh, it's basically picking up the sound waves and converting that into digital data. Yeah, so maybe a little bit overkill on the effect, but it definitely sounds a bit like I'm in an enormous auditorium there. So that's just a couple of the ways you can use Audacity. One more thing I will mention here is that it's possible to add in extra audio tracks. So if you're creating something that is quite complex, you can have it all on different audio tracks within the same Audacity file, uh, such as when you're creating music. Let's say you're recording uh, different instruments from different audio sources. It would be possible to use Audacity, um, put them all on different tracks, modify it how you need to modify it, and then export it when you're finished. 
The last two things I'll leave you guys with for this introductory video is that if you want to record audio on a track that already exists within your Audacity file, you would select that track, the location you want to be recording the audio at, and hit Shift R. Go ahead and do that here. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it added the audio information to here. Uh, may actually want to mute this track while we do that so that it doesn't actually play back while we're recording. And of course, if you wanted to record on a brand new track, you would just go up here to the record button, hit R, make sure you have the right microphone selected, and uh, yeah, go ahead and record whatever you need to record. As you can see, wherever the point I have selected in the timeline is also going to be where this new track starts recording. But that's the gist of using Audacity for basic audio recording and editing, so hopefully this helped you get started using the program. It's really cool and it's very impressive that it's a free uh, community supported project. So go ahead, check it out. I've been Chris, thank you for watching, and until my next video, I'll see you then.